Hi everyone, I'm Lizzie and this is Lizzie Reads and today I decided to go full Christmas sparkly jumper and play you Last Christmas uh, by Wab because I intend on talking about books I read last Christmas. This is part one of my picture book advent calendar guide so obviously it's a bit late to be doing your own christmas picture book advent calendar and i know it's not for everyone so i'm going to talk about um a few different things today it's going to be split into a few different parts but first of all we're going to talk about the books that i read last year so basically i've got I started this last year and I did a load of books last year and I've unhauled some which I'm going to include clips of at the end I gave them to um a friend and his son because um I felt that they wouldn't like um they wouldn't I didn't want to reread them again um they were quite kiddie ones if you know what I mean I've got clips of them and I'll probably do voiceover clips of them um but basically these are the ones that have kept these are the ones that have made the car I'm going to try and try and kind of do a worst of not worst to best, but like keep my favourite ones for the end kind of situation, if that makes sense. And obviously I'm full out Christmas decked up uh, for this. Obviously I didn't want to switch the lights on because I thought oh, that would be really annoying, loud. But uh, yeah, I'm going to have a rollo and get started. I thought I would start with some Christmas classic picture books. So I've got three of the Raymond Briggs... I've got three of the Raymond Briggs picture books here. I've got The Snowman. I'm hoping... That this doesn't throw the ring light out the snowman and the snow dog and father christmas um yeah all by raymond briggs and father christmas has words in or dialogue it's um sort of like um what are they called comic strip style and there is some like words um but it's really fun and enjoyable um except and the snowman and the snow dog and the snowman and the snowman and the snow dog do not have any words in and we're not going to hold them up because i feel that it's throwing the light out it's getting a bit crazy and reflective um these are ones i'd really enjoy obviously they're really good for any ages if you are going to be buying them for little ones in your life um they're very sort of all month long kind of ones they're not ones that i like to reserve just before christmas um they get me really in the christmas spirit and they're really lovely to read um so i wasn't definitely wasn't going to be parting with those this year and i think they're an absolute must for your christmas picture book reading if that is something you're into i really value christmas picture books i find that they really make me happy and i feel like they're really joyful and um i just really really like reading them um so you know next we have a classic and potentially my favorite one of my favorites i've got uh, how the grinch stole christmas by dr seuss and this is obviously a classic it's a very popular film um it's quite it's quite one of the longer ones it's got some quite it's quite a longer story in comparison to some of the books that i'm reading uh, i've got on this list um but i really love the grinch the grinch is one of my all-time favorite christmas films and um up until last year i'd never read the um actual picture book version so uh, i found this really enjoyable i like the rhyming it's it works really well reading it out loud and um, yes i really like that one essentially i'm going to really like all of these because that's kind of the point <laughs> but um we'll just move on to a really funny one that i really liked and this is mint spies um, and this is by mark sperring and sophie corrigan and this is one i read last year and although this has got like a really childish idea it's about these mince pies and they are spies and um it's very funny and very humorous i think children would really love this one um if you're thinking of buying it for um any little ones in your life but also i just think it's really funny for adults to read there is one that i did really like that i read last year that was funny but i decided to pass it on because i wanted to try some new books this year and i'll talk about that a bit later on um and then i'm gonna just have a quick little interlude for my caroline duffy picture books i love caroline duffy i love her poetry i think she's really brilliant um and i have three of her picture books i've got pablo picasso's noel which is illa illa illustrated by uh leo my petit and we've got wentzless uh, a christmas poem and this is illustrated by stuart 
collar COVID. And we've also got the King of Christmas illustrated by Laura Hawthorne. Um, I really like all of these. Um, I definitely say um, Wenceslas is my favourite. Um, they're sort of they're all illustrated in different style, but they're each like a poem about a classic Christmas story or like a story, a different story. Um, and yes, I really like these, and I think they're really nice to mix in some sort of different types of stories in with this. So very much appreciated that. And then next I've got to talk about, these are ones that are sort of like in the middle. They're really good ones, but they don't fit into different categories for me personally. So obviously I've got, this is the one that I read yesterday, which was the first. So this is obviously not going to be uploaded until Friday, I think. But this, I read this one on the 1st of December, and that was Christmas in Exeter Street by Diana Hendry and John Lawrence. Um, and this is... A really lovely one that I don't remember reading last year. I feel like I had it and then maybe I misplaced it and then didn't because I think I missed the day last year. So, um, and it's a, just about a house um, that gets filled up with people over Christmas. I, will Father Christmas manage to find all the children? Um, it's a really sweet story and it's it's got very Christmassy pictures and I like the style of the story and I like sort of the content of the story. It's a bit different from some of the others. And then. We've also got The Christmas Eve Tree by Delia Huddy and it's illustrated by Emily Sutton and I remember this one really well. This one I found to be really emotional and um, it deals with homelessness around Christmas and it is very, very sweet indeed and I really felt like I really wanted to read this heartwarming story again. Um, another one which is cute is probably more of a kids, kids, kiddies Christmas story um, but I've got We're Going on an Elf Chase. Um, by Martha Munford and illustrated by Laura Hughes. So this is um, obviously a take on We're Going on a Bear Hunt. It follows the same pattern and it's a lift to flap story, um, which, you know, is is fine. Um, the flaps aren't really, I just really like the illustration and I really like obviously reading this one aloud. It obviously sounds very nice to read. And then we've got the classic, the classic, The Night Before Christmas by Clement Clark Moore. And I've got the edition that is illustrated by Richard Johnson. I really like this, um, this illustrations and I really like this, like, Barb Christmas. Um, like, I like the way he's depicted. Sometimes, I'm, I'm not particular, it's just there are some depictions of Father Christmas I love so much more than others. Um, and that is one that I really, really love. Obviously, that is my Christmas Eve pick. Um for me and and then we're going to go into our favorites my four my four favorites um and i'm going to start with the snow dragon by abby elphinstone and fiona wood actually i think this might be the longest one because this one's got quite a lot of stories but it's about a young girl who i believe she lives in a orphanage uh, where she isn't treated very nicely and she is the last child left at christmas and and no one has come to adopt her and on christmas eve she gets taken with the snow dragon and has a magical adventure um which uh, obviously she's going through a really tough time and feels very isolated and she's also struggling because um the orphanage she lives in is a very stereotypical um not very nice like evil type annie vibes um but yeah i found this to be really sweet and um yeah, i definitely really enjoyed this Another one that I remember from last year absolutely adoring is The Last Stop on the Reindeer Express. And yeah, I just checked the back because I was like, I don't know if it's about what I think it's about, but it's actually about a girl who, or actually it's by uh, Maudie Powell Tuck and Carl James M Mountford. Um, and I remember this being really beautiful and I believe it's about a young girl who misses her dad and he is away near Christmas. So I will leave that where that is um and yeah it's really beautiful like you can see this cut out and this is just absolutely stunning i could look at it all day um it's definitely one i enjoy reading the reading process and potentially i'll go i'll go for my second favorite press my second favorite is the polar bear the polar bear i fancy the polar bear explorer, explorers club this is polar express by chris van allsberg and this is obviously uh, the book that inspired the film The Polar Express, which is one of my favourite Christmas films. Um, 
and I just like reading this um, because it just feels really cosy to me and so this is actually my boyfriend's copy I got it for him for Christmas because the Polar Express is his favourite Christmas film um, but I just really really love this finally I'm certainly not the East um, it's definitely my favourite and this is Catherine Rundle's One Christmas Wish and this is about a young boy whose parents are away on Christmas Eve and because he has no one to spend his time with he makes a wish to wish that his um the Christmas he has some friends and the his Christmas decorations come alive and they go on an adventure this is a beautiful book the most gorgeous rich book ever and this really started me wanting to do this because I got this two years two Christmases ago it's Christmas 2018, I think on the recommendation of Lauren on the books on one of her videos and um, then I read this and really loved it and then last year obviously it was sort of the basis for my um, Christmas picture book guide. Um, the first book in the second part of this video of books that I have given away that I read last year is Pooh's Christmas Adventure. I thought this was really sweet but the story was quite simple and um, it's just one I thought was more geared towards children because they are for children but one that I didn't think I wanted to reread again but I will be trying a new Winnie the Pooh one this year video to come soon on that next up we have The Queen's Present which is a sweet story where um, a group of elves are going all around the world trying to find the Queen a present um, it covers lots of different landmarks and the colours are very um, interesting because they're obviously just green and red primarily but again this is just one i didn't want to reread the same with coming home by michael morpurgo um i thought this was really sweet but just i felt like the story wasn't as great as i was excited i wanted it to be but the illustrations were beautiful definitely one i was glad to have passed on one that I did feel was more of a kiddie story is One Snowy Night, which is by Nick Butterworth and a Percy the Park Keeper story, which I absolutely loved when I was a kid. Um, and I found this really sweet, but I thought my friends, some would really appreciate the CD as then this can read to them. And then there's also um, Little Robin Red Vest. Um, I think this is by Jan Fernley, and I believe this was um, a story based on a Christmas advert from a few years ago it's either that or the Michael Mulpergo one but I don't think I would just wanted to read reread it it was a very simple story and not super Christmassy like I wanted similarly as the lonely Christmas tree um because I really like this but the story was very simple and I just felt like adding something different this year instead of rereading it just for the sake of it. The ones that I have kept are ones that I am really excited about and passionate about. One, the next one is one I kind of regret giving away. Not because I want it back, but because it was such a funny story. And this is Sproutzilla vs Christmas. And this is about Sproutzilla, the giant sprout, who's trying to ruin Christmas. And it's quite a funny story. But I remember the ending being very kiddie. And that made me not want to read it again, I think. Obviously, but still I recommend it. I haven't filmed the next clip yet. But, um, well, I filmed it. I just need to talk through it. Um, but this is my picture book gift guide. Um, Christmas picture book gift guide. Uh, recommendations. Some ones that obviously more i think adults can enjoy it and the second ones like um are really really are really read really worthy and then the next second set will be ones that i think are good for adults but see uh, are more of a one read type of book so yeah hopefully you enjoy this and uh i speak to you again soon thank you for watching goodbye